Welcome, Fabrice, to our daily show for the Roland Garros. I'm super happy to have you. And I think this is going to be a fun one because we had so many beautiful memories. So yeah, I'll, thanks, I'll, thanks for I'll, the invitation, Daniela. Thank you. <laughs> well, I think we got off a great, really great start here that we can't even remember when we played together. So are you actually going to be able to remember how we set it up and we decided we were going to play? Because I got so many questions asked about that. And honestly, I don't remember. I'm the same. But, but, but the reason is different. You don't remember because you want so many. And me, I don't remember because I'm too old. <laughs> no. no, no, no. But this is, well, all I can say is I remember how unbelievable the atmosphere was. Remember our first match, Core 2? Yes, wonderful. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, it was. I remember two matches, actually. Okay. The first and the last. Yeah, that's pretty much how I remember. So I, I remember something else, though. Having to warm up with you before the matches, I was like, oh my God, like if I had to play singles against you, I would break all my rackets. Like in two weeks, you did not miss a ball. <laughs> That's what I remember from our mixed doubles. Yeah. It was crazy, but beautiful times. And by the way, I don't know if you can prepare, but hey. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. No but way. I, no. I didn't prepare it. I didn't prepare it, but I can, no I, way. can I remove the screen? Uh, you can, yeah, go for it. No. No way! I cannot believe it. <gasps> Where did the idea of playing both hands on both sides come from? It's very simple, actually. When I started playing tennis, I was, it was 1978, 79. And uh, at, this, at this time, it was only one type of racket. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you, you cannot find a racket. It was a wood racket. And it was not like a, one type for, for men, for ladies, and for kids. It was one type of racket. And when I came on court the first time for a tennis lesson with other kids and my dad, I saw like 20, 30 rackets on court. And as a kid, I just picked up like the, 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 the biggest one was too, too heavy. And I was so small. So the only chance for me to hold the racket and play tennis, hit some ball, was to, to, to take the racket with two hands. And that's the only reason. And that the, the, yeah, that's the reason. I have to say, when we played together the mixed doubles, uh, normally in doubles you have to look forward and not really see what your partner is doing so that you can be fast to react. But with your magical hands and the trick shots you can do, I always had to turn around because I just wanted to see what you, you will be able to produce on the court. And I know it must be so frustrating against your opponent. Who was the opponent that you liked to play the most, that you felt like, right? I mean, I'm, I, I'm just not going to... A, I have a pick there because I talked to him already and he complained about you and he actually, he actually picked you ah, as yeah, a yeah. player a, that he Russian? hated to play most. What? You're Russian? <laughs> <laughs> He's a great guy. He's a great guy. And he was a great opponent for me. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it that you felt like, okay, I just... Because, so he says that he felt like you knew exactly what he was going to do. And by the way, I can say we are talking about Marat Safin. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, for me, this, the reason is simple. 50% because I guess his game and I know exactly what he's going to do. And 50% because when he walked on court to play against me, he was already down the set mentally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at Marat's game and my game, there's no reason he can't beat me. No reason. Mm. I can beat him once a while. But this, I beat him seven times, which is not normal compared to his, what he can do on court, the way he served, the way he hit the ball, the way he moved. He was like almost 10 years younger than me. And for all the reason, if he walk, if he walk on the court with his mind set and the, and the, and the plan for the match, you know, he's going to beat me, clearly. Mm. Actually, you know what? Our game is, huh? You know what, Daniela? When he was playing against me, what I like to do is to be his coach. <laughs> 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 and then he will win. Let's go the other way. Who was the player you hated to play most against? Russian too, Yevgeny. No I, lost six, I lost six times out of six matches against Yevgeny. Wow. Yeah. So that's because where he's supposed to coach you before the match. 
Yeah, uh, it's my uh, yeah. I have a Russian story with those two guys, and mm. uh, no, Yevgeny was too. He was we was playing, and on the backhand cross court, he was better than me. On the forehand cross, he was better. I cannot serve and volley because he was returning too too well for me. Uh, I cannot attack his serve because he was staying low. And for the, all those reasons, I couldn't beat him. Hmm. I won one set. I think every player has those. Uh, the ones yeah. he loves to play and the ones he hates to play. Let's talk about more... Well, no, what about you? What about you, your record? Your best record? The, uh, the one you I used to love to play against Martina Hingis. Yeah. I only lost to her once. I just wow. felt like back then I had more power than her. Okay. Uh, and actually Justine Hanna as well. And I hated to play against Kim Kleister. So I would say I, I had the Belgium, Belgium affair. Like you had the Russian one. I, it was with me, <laughs> it was more Belgium. Okay, good. We, good. With Kim, Kim, I only won once. And that's just because she retired after her first set. <laughs> so. Let's talk about the general atmosphere of Roland Garros, those, you know, say last match on Susan Langland when it's almost getting dark. Um, and just, just from your perspective, being French, how much that meant to you? And also what was the most special match you played at the Roland Garros? The most special one, I would say, I would say two matches actually. The one we played with six hours, 33 minutes with Arnaud Clément on court Susan Langland. And of course, when I beat Marat on center court in 2001. Um, but once again, when I walk on a court, a normal court, any, anywhere in the world, I walk as a player with, as a French player walking on the court. When I walk on center court in Roland Garros, I walk there with a huge French flag on my back, you know, mm. and the atmosphere is completely, completely different because then all the crowd almost is with you and they support you and from first point to the last and um, especially with my I say tricky game most tricky, of the time tricky magical game tricky magical game but it's not my my job to say magical it's yours <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, um, the atmosphere was ve very special mm -hmm. because it was long matches and with different points and play, playing slides and drop shot and love and and it was like um how to say mouse and cat yes mm -hmm. you have this in english yeah uh, well we mouse? don't have it in Slovak, but uh, i think everyone will understand what you mean okay <laughs> fabrice thank you so so much for your time this was so thanks Daniel. it was a pleasure uh, not only for pleasure. this interview far but yeah. for everything we shared on the court together it was yeah. it was a memory that's gonna last a lifetime yeah. It's we, yeah. both know, we both know it's so much more than the trophy, which is beautiful, but it's it's the moments that we were able sure. to share the court together and they will stay with us forever. So thanks, thanks a lot. It was a pleasure to, to play with you. It was a pleasure to do this interview. And you sure what? We should come on. Three, two, one, let's go together. <laughs> Perfect. It was yeah, I think we should do this more often. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Actually. Fifteen years later. Unbelievable, huh? Goes fast, okay. but we don't change. Anyways, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Kisses.